During the Google I.O. conference, which is a developer conference, Google has secretly launched an insane new coder that is quite remarkable. Google's new AI coding agent that is called Jules. Jules is an autonomous AI coding agent that is nothing short of revolutionary. Jules can work asynchronously across your entire repo, fixing bugs, refractoring your code, and automating your to-do list all at once. And if that wasn't quite impressive enough for you, it even generates a daily CodeCast podcast that is going to summarize your recent commits and repo activity. Now, in my last video, I showed you how powerful Jules was. But today, I'm back again because there is a massive new update that makes Jules even more accessible, intuitive, and powerful than before. Oh, and did I mention it is still 100% free and being more accessible than ever? Just take a look at it live in action. This is where it was given the task to update the website for an episode of an ADK tutorial. And this is where it was able to create a new branch, a new pull request, which was ready to review, a preview deployment. And this is something that you can instantly test right away. It wasn't even a complex task, but the fact that it was able to fully handle it all on its own by AI showcases how powerful AI can be. In essence, Jules is an asynchronous multitasking agent that is able to function across your code base. It is able to autonomously bug fix as well as a refractor, generate these different code casts that will give you a commit summary. And it is even able to create applications for you and build out everything fully autonomously powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. And now it has gotten even better. First off, let's take a look at all the new updates and then showcase what Jules is capable of doing. First things first is the new updated 60 daily tasks that are powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro and available for everyone completely for free. That means you get to access Jules 60 times in terms of the daily task that is powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is a state of the art coding model that can help you with so many different things. And if you had used Jules previously, it had only given users a five daily task limit, which was not super helpful at all because it wasn't usable at all to generate anything that is feasible for a large project. But now we have 60 daily tasks that they have given us. And this is something that we can access completely for free, which is just insane. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Next, we have the new introduction of instantly copying and downloading the code from Jules. So working with the code is going to be super smoother because you can now just quickly copy or download snippets right from the code pane and you're going to be able to use their brand new button where you don't need to manually select or awkwardly copy and paste into whatever file that you take from Jules. So this is a small tweak, but it's a big boost for your working efficiency. So you can now easily download and copy code snippets directly from Jules. Next up is the new feature of staying in context. This is where you have the ability to now start and manage multiple tasks seamlessly with their new modal feature. This is where you won't lose your place or momentum, and it's going to allow you to stay focused and work smarter with this new panel feature. This is a way for you to manage repositories, easily create them within Jules, and it's going to allow you to navigate and stay in context here throughout your overall workflow. There's also an adjustable code panel where you can customize your workflow by adjusting the code panel width and you can tailor Jules exactly to your viewing preference for maximum comfort. And lastly, aside from the under the hood improvement that delivers faster, smoother interactions and keeping your coding flow uninterrupted and ultra efficient, there is the introduction of a new model within Jules, which is the Gemini 2.5 Pro updated model which was just released around six days ago this is the gemini 2.5 pro 06-05 thinking model which is impressive in terms of its coding performance it does exceptional in comparison to many of these other models like cloud 4 opus rock 3 beta DeepSeek r1 
and even OpenAI's O4 Mini. It is something that is quite cheap and it's able to efficiently and effectively code out anything that you request it. And now it is powering Jules. But now that we have gotten all of the updates out of the way, to get started, it's super simple. Just simply click on Try Jules. You can sign in with your Google account. Or if you do not have a Google account, you can simply go ahead and create one. First thing you'll notice is that the daily limit is now set to 60, as I mentioned before. So you're going to be able to do almost anything now with Jules. Now, you're going to need to first connect to your GitHub account. In this case, I have it connected to a test repo that I have under my name. And this is where you can either select the branch that you want to work on to fix an issue or to debug or to even generate something from scratch. Now, I don't have anything in this repo, so I'll just showcase what you can actually do with it. So to showcase the asynchronous agent live in action, we're going to give it a plan within our test repo. This is where I'm going to have it initialize a new Express app with cores enabled, and I'm going to have it set up the backend foundation for a CRM dashboard app, which we're going to be creating afterwards. We're first going to have it set up the backend, and this is where a, the asynchronous agent is going to be able to deploy multiple agents to tackle this task, and it's going to be working alongside with each other to work on each component, like setting up the Express uh, starter app, enabling the cores, and then preparing it for the future CRM related routes. So you can see right away, it's going to work on the basic plan structure. And once it's approved, you can obviously click on approve. But if you want to talk to Jules to improve it, you can simply do that as well. Right now, it is going to work on creating the basic folder structure. But let's see what it actually ends up generating for us. And you can see that it has started configuring the backend and it has completed the basic task that we had set by setting up the Express backend for the CRM dashboard. And now you can actually view it as a branch. And in this case, you can see the differences in terms of all the edits that were made and all the changes that it had added to our repo. So all of this has been now added and you can actually create the pull request once you approve it. And once we have approved this, we can now work on the next task, which is where we're going to have it focus on the front end. Now, obviously, this is not how you would work in transition, but you would want to focus on the smaller things, making sure that everything is working within the branch. And once you have approved the back end, connected it to the database and whatnot, you can then work on the front end. And in this case, we're going to now have Jules fully autonomously execute this task of adding as many features and making the CRM dashboard app for us. Now, if you notice one thing, it is super faster in comparison to its previous update. And like I said at the start, you can easily download the code with a single click, or you can now copy it as well. And you can see that it has now completed this task. I simply clicked on publish to branch, and now I can view the branch. And this way, you can see that our repo is fully set up. And thanks to the asynchronous agents, it was able to fully develop all of this and publish all the edits to the GitHub repository. And you can now see that we can now go ahead and set this up by first setting up the backend and then starting the server up. So let me showcase what it actually generated. And just look at that. This is a fully functional CRM dashboard that was fully generated completely for free. You have the ability to add in tasks on this main page. You can visualize your sales overview, total revenue, your new clients, and then the recent activity. You can even manage your clients. And in this case, if you had it connected to a database, which you can configure with Jules, you'd be able to actively monitor any sort of data with various sorts of providers like Superbase or even MongoDB. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on the new Jules update. This is something that I highly recommend that you take a look at as it's completely for free and it is more accessible while being powered by a state-of-the-art model that you can access today all on the web. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it with the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter and join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel. 
Make sure to turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.